construction management is where I started and uh, our firm was purchased by a company that specialized in industrial hygiene. So I quickly found myself managing uh, abatement projects, hazardous removal projects. Construction managers may not know a lot about industrial hygiene, but by the same token, industrial hygienists rarely know enough about construction management. So the whole purpose of this company is to bring construction managers like myself in contact with industrial hygienists who are very good at what they do. And we've sort of learned from each other over the years and the product that we provide is industrial hygiene services related to demolition or renovation or other sorts of construction services. It's a total tear off job for asbestos roofing. Um, there's asbestos in the felts and in the mastics and we've got a roofing contractor on site here who's working kind of behind our abatement contractor. What our job is is to make sure that all the asbestos is out of the way before those guys come in and do their work. So when you have somebody come in and test your building for lead and asbestos we have to check every different materials throughout the building. So it could be 70 samples because you have different tiles, layer of tiles under the under your tiles, um, stuff behind the walls, and if you really want to know what's there, it takes a lot. And quickly I found that if I could surround myself with um, industrial hygienists, the, the sorts of people that you interviewed earlier today, that it was really a dynamic uh, team. Because of our training, we know what to look out for when we're in the field. Um, without the training, you know, anyone can go into a work site and say this is this has to be done but you know the way it's done is also a big factor so because of our training we're constantly um, refreshed with um, the different types of uh, regulations. There's certain thicknesses of plastic that need to be used when in the asbestos uh, abatement process and one of the contractors showed up with a thinner thickness which most most contract or most uh, consultants would be fine with and might overlook it, say it's plastic, it's plastic, but it's technically against the law and something we would catch every time. Oh, it's so much less expensive in the long run because if you just have to do it once, and if you're if 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 you don't run the risk of a, a, a regulatory agency visiting your site or complaints. If you can communicate with occupants, it, it's just so much easier. And we get told that a lot of times. We say, so glad that you guys are running this show because we don't have to worry about it. Uh, they call us to say, this needs to be done, tell us when you're finished. And we do. We'll manage it, we'll do the inspection, we'll get the quotes for uh, remediation, uh, we'll monitor the project, and we'll provide the final report. We get the job done the first time. <laughs>